Andy inspired Curry with some naan and positive intentions and love. Cut and wash everything. Finito. You probably heard people say seeing is believing, but what about believing is seeing? I believe that in order to manifest what we want, whether it be that new love, that new job, we first have to be energetically aligned with what we want. If you're not and you want a new job and you think you're worthless, you're basically like running away from the job energetically. Oh gosh. Let's add ginger, onions, and garlic. So what I'm saying is it's important to take action on your goals, but the first step is to believe in yourself because it's so easy easy to self-sabotage based on things that have happened in the past? Are we allowing that trauma? Are we allowing those experiences to carry over into other areas of our life on a consistent basis? Every experience forms like a reference point, which in a way is good. It's like, oh, I, I don't want that to happen again. I think what's important is to recognize when that fear notification comes up, go a layer deeper and ask myself, am I really in danger? Is this going to harm me? Is this the same situation? Because if I don't do that, then I'll just be living in a state of fear and I won't allow that new love to come into my life. I won't allow that new job to come into my life. Madras curry powder, turmeric, coriander, fennel greek, cumin, chili, ginger, black pepper, everything. I want to learn more about Ayurvedic herbs, Chinese herbs, indigenous cultures, herbs. Crap ton of this. The carrots and celery, the potatoes, the tomatoes, some salt today, chickpeas, and a cup of water. Oh, oh, everywhere. Looks good. Non time. Sugar and my yeast. Warm water. Check out that yeast, salt, flour, and baking powder. This is Rainbow Plant Life's recipe. Go check it out. Add this flour mixture. Rubber spatula. Okay. Very sticky. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. Dries, not bad. You do a self assessment of yourself, of family dynamics, of friendship dynamics, of relationship dynamics. Or it could be something like you feel like you're unattractive, which could connect to your self worth and your confidence in how you go about your work at your job. You just don't feel good enough. So I think it's really important to be aware of how you feel and the certain pain points that each one of us feels so we don't self sabotage. If you're around toxic, narcissistic people, you will become toxic and narcissistic. It's so easy to latch on to a thought or a feeling or a pattern and have that stop you from manifesting what you truly desire. In the pan, it's puffing up, not bad. Wow, look at that. A bit more water in the Napa cabbage. It's not bad, first time. She hijacked my show, but that's okay because we're really cooking here and I don't know what's happening. I don't- It's all natural, organic, nothing planned. That one I burned too much. Okay, fix it. You gotta feel it. You gotta feel it? You gotta feel what's real. You gotta live it. You can't always see it, you gotta feel it. This bread actually came out better than I thought. I added a lot of butter in there. It tightened it up, look at that. And we added some honey. It was sitting like this for like 20 minutes. Bread came out nice. Mm. Making a delicious meal is not so difficult. It requires some time, it requires some preparation. It's really good. See you later, alligator. Peace.